Best transition ever. Today I want to look at micro music, the application that basically adds Simplant 2's Xenopatch feature to Vital. Of course this is really exciting because I called Simplant 2 the synth of the year which is a big thing earlier this year and I didn't expect that this is going to be challenged in any way but now it is here because this is actually a free software and since Vital is free as well this is pretty huge. Um, so let's check out what this thing can do. How many choices do you want? 10. So 10 presets. Which AI would you like to use? Oh there are different to choose from that's nice. Color scheme dark yeah open preset follow when done sure okay i showed you this beat not just because it's a cool intro but because there are different sounds in it that i designed for this challenge starting with the bass sound which goes like this so this bass sound basically consists of this patch just a resonant bass sound then there are two instances of diopsa to make it a little bit more funky and an instance of Prisma. Especially the sample reduction gives it this vowelish sound. Also ADSR to bring down the noise after each note. Alright, so now it's time to actually bounce this file into a new track. Now I wanna find out if I can just drag it from here. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, that works. Okay, now I can browse for a folder. Boom. Convert. Oh wow, that was pretty fast. Why was it so fast? That was definitely faster than the Geno patch feature. Much faster. So now I guess it's time to actually try this file. How it would work as the baseline of this beat. In order to do that, I will make an instrument layer and just put all of the stuff that I already have in the first lane and now make a second lane with Vital. In here, I have to load the preset now. Can I just use drag and drop? No, I can't. That's a shame. Open external preset. That makes sense. Ah. Okay, the thing didn't work that I saw in the video where when he selected the first preset, it was just possible to directly go to the next preset. For some reason that didn't work. So I guess I need to check out that video again. But for now, I will just click on these files one by one. Oh, holy shit, that was a lot of noise. Okay, now the fourth one. Yeah, that was pretty close actually. It's kind of funny that the filters also have some settings here, but they are not in use. Wow, there is a lot of stuff going on. It actually picked up quite a lot of the stuff that I did there. For example, it used the bit crush algorithm in the distortion module to kind of make something that sounds a little bit similar to the sample and hold thing. Unfortunately, it's not sample and hold, so it does sound different. It did not get the bass sound right though. It thinks it is a combination of saw wave and sine wave instead of something that has sort of an acid low pass filter on it. And it thought that I used unison. So it probably got confused by the all pass filter. I guess. Holy shit. Yeah, that one was kind of cool, but I don't like that the noise is always so generic. I kind of like the stereo width of this bass even though it is a bass line. I gotta say though, it is a little bit boring that whenever this feature adds noise fragments, it is just white noise. It could be a little bit more creative about that. However, I do like this patch. Let's play both of them together. That's kind of cool. Let's saturate this one a little bit more.
That's a nice bass sound, I really like that. So all in all, when it comes to replicating the bass layer of Synth 1, I think it did not manage to replicate the texture that I gave it, but it gave me something that I can layer with this sound, and that's a cool function as well. Now, next up, we are going to try this sound. So this is a combination between just a sample in cycles mode and an instance of JP6K. And here I especially want to know if it is able to pick up that I transposed this oscillator to 19 and the other one to 7 to get this power chordish tone. Also I have this Valhalla frequency echo on a really low shift with some feedback so that you can hear it kind of flanging through slowly. A little bit of compression. NFX layer with Valhalla Supermassive to make it more three-dimensional. So I wanna see if it can pick up the three-dimensionality, maybe with the chorus and the reverb or something like that. And also if it can pick up the flanging and make a flanger. You can hear the flanging a little bit on a single note as well, so that should be sufficient. Okay, now I got some new presets and now I just noticed something. The names correspond to the name of the audio file that you gave it. So you should make sure that, that your audio file is kind of descriptive before starting the drag operation so that the names are actually something that you can work with easily. So this should be now the instrument layer thing. Okay, that's pretty loud. It's louder than what I gave it, but that's okay. What I don't quite get is why it added the white noise again. Let's turn it off. Hmm, kinda distorted. I don't like that. Let's go on. Yeah, okay, it added the flanger. That's good. Frequencies at 14 seconds. I think it could have gone more adventurous about this flanger. It was turned down a lot on the mix and yeah, I would have liked to hear it a little bit better. Also, the phaser is also very conservative here. This would have sounded much better. No distortion, distortion sucks. I just tweaked it myself a little bit because I do want to use the sound. However, I don't think that Micro Music succeeded in making a patch that resembles the patch that I gave it or sounded similar, that it just didn't do that. So now I have a new patch and I can use it together with the other sounds. nice. Next up I want to try something adventurous. I want to give it my voice just to find out how it deals with voices. The Gino patch feature could not deal with voices at all and I don't expect this one either but still it's a quite nice challenge. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let me turn off the delay for that. Let's go! Okay this is going to be interesting. Let's try the other AI now. The better version. This is not quite let's go, but I do like that it actually used the modulators here in order to pick up that there is some change throughout the audio. Simplan 2 also does that. Whenever you give it something that has different notes in it, it tries to make some sort of arpeggio thing out of it, which is pretty cool and impressive. But here it's not quite an arpeggio thing, it will not map the LFO to the amplitude or anything to accomplish that, but just makes an LFO. That's not enough. Okay. It's still just white noise with some basic waveforms. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty generic shit. That's not useful at all. But I will try something else now. I will try synthesizing a kick now. Because Simplan 2 is really good at drums. And apparently being really good at drums is a thing in these kind of tools. So let's give it a chance to shine here as well. Here we have just a sample of a kick. Let's go back to the alpha version of the AI and then hit convert. Why does it just make one? I selected 10 again. Okay, there seems to be a bug where when you go back to the 1.1 alpha AI, it does not make 10 presets. Okay, I don't know. It just made one preset for some reason. Now let's just try that one. I mean, it is kind of a cool sound. But it's definitely not a kick. So yeah. I'm actually kind of glad about this outcome because it would have been a real shame for Sonic Charge if the new feature that innovated the whole audio world was just able to be taken away like that with a finger snip and be released for free. That would kind of suck. I mean, okay, I, I, I would have found it pretty cool now to have a tool that I can use to generate vital patches. That would have been really fun. I'm just glad that it doesn't happen so fast because I do wish that Sonic Charge has a lot of success with Simplan 2. It is just a really deserved success when you innovate a whole category of plugins with a new feature. And this was an attempt to make a free plugin out of that, but it was not successful.